We today at Kaka Wichea Yon, my group and I would like to introduce and talk to you about the solar system, how and when it began. My name is Naming. My name is Sola. My name is Didi. My name is Papa. My name is Anya. My name is Yaya. Well, now that you've known all of us and our names, we hope you enjoy. Hello, my name is Anya. Hello, my name is Sola. Hello, my name is Tata. Hello, my name is Yidi. Hello, my name is Yaya. And we're here to present to you about how the solar system began. Yay! Yay. Have you ever wondered how the solar system was made? Was there even a beginning to the solar system? Will it ever even end? Today, we're going to be answering you these questions and more. How did the solar system come together? It all started 4.6 billion years ago. The sun and planets were all formed from what was called the solar nebula. A shockwave from the nearby solar nova explosion and started the collapse of the solar nebula. The solar nebula's ashes, dust, fragments, rocks, etc. started its swirling around. The sun soon formed in the center, and the planets formed in the, in the scorpioning around it. The planets didn't instantly form, though. It did take some time. It's not like it'll magically become the solar system without scientific reasons. Right. The solar system is situated in the arm of the Milky Way galaxy. Alpha Century made up of the stars Proxima Century, Alpha Century A and Alpha Century B is the closest star system to the solar system. The sun, how it is made and facts about it. About 4.5 billion years ago, waves of energy traveling through space pressed clouds of such particles closer together, and gravity caused them to collapse in on themselves and then start to spin. The spin caused the cloud to flatten into a disk like a pancake. In the center, the material clumped together to form a protoster that would eventually become the sun. Rock planets and little. Rocky planets are planets that compose of silicate rocks or metals. In our solar system, there are four rocky planets, Earth, Mars, Mercury, and Venus, which are the inner planets closest to the Sun. They are composed mostly of combination of hydrogen, helium, and water. They are much smaller than gas planets and rotate more slowly. Gas planets and ditto. Gas planets and ditto. Gas planets are composed mostly of gases, such as helium and hydrogen, with a small rocky core. There are four gas planets in our solar system, which are Neptune, Uranus, Saturn, and Jupiter. They reside in the outskirts past the orbits of Mars and the asteroid belt. When will the system end, and how? One billion years from now, the sun will be 10% brighter than it is today. This will raise the surface temperature on Earth, causing oceans to evaporate faster and extinguishing most, if not all, life on Earth. Right now, the Milky Way galaxy is locked in a gravitational dance with a nearby galaxy. The two galaxies are racing towards each other at 2,500,000 m per hour and will collide less than 5 billion years from now. If the expansion continues to accelerate, then in 100 billion years, the gap between galaxies will be growing so fast that light from distant galaxies will no longer reach us. A hundred trillion years in the future, all stars in the universe will die, leaving behind cool, dim remnants. A decillion years into the future, black holes will dominate our universe in a new era called the black hole era. But that's not the end. Even black holes die. Eventually, they slowly lose mass. In about a Google year, the last black hole will evaporate into oblivion, and the universe will have no energy to make new planets or stars. <laughs>